let's just dive right in the deep end. Rich AF, your Ooh. parents are rich, you have a sugar daddy. <laughs> Despite the treatments and surgeries, Emma's gonna spill the tea, and in the process of doing so, she's gonna embarrass herself. We have some really rude messages. <laughs> My name is Emma Miller if you're new to the channel and if you're returning then welcome back. So today over on Instagram I asked you to give me your assumptions, to judge me, to roast me, to tell me the most savage things you think about me and, and I'm gonna make a video out of it. I don't know why, I mean this it seemed like a really good idea at the time you know, sit down video, get to do more videos per week and that whole thing. It's also a trending video on YouTube, you know, a lot of YouTube is not an original idea. Um, but okay, so anyway, we're gonna do it. Um, I thought, you know, given how savage you guys are, um, that I would get some help. Yeah. From, from someone who I think would be able to ask the questions. It's like a two-way, you know, just like some moral support or something like that. So I want to introduce you today to someone very special. I don't know, I need an introduction. Why is that so? Oh. Hi guys. Is this, is this your look for today? What do you mean? This is my outfit. These are your clothes. What? Well, the funny thing about her <gasps> is that she thinks her followers have been savage. Wait until can I start to relax a little bit. I'm not going to get rid of my lollipop. Full of sugar, sugar free action. Look, I know you're anxious about these assumptions, but come on, we'll have a laugh on you. Yeah. I mean, how bad can they be? Tell us. I mean, they're pretty personal. The assumptions are like, you're bisexual, you're gay, you're in the arena of sexual partners. What are you doing? Put it down. Just tell me a banana. You have a banana? I don't need it. Oh. Oh, you don't all right. need it. Okay. Oh. Go on. Okay, we'll all watch. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Do you feel good? So what are you going to say? I, uh, People don't know. I mean, with all those lipstick kissing challenge videos with Arena, you got some answering to do. Or was it just for the views, for the likes, for the clicks, clickbait, clickbait? This is gonna be juicy. So, tell us what are their assumptions? Well, uh, I like your rich AF, your Ooh. parents are rich, you have a sugar daddy. This is, um, is there something you're not telling me? This is news to me because you know what? She doesn't get me anything. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, oh, you get it. Oh, you better put it back for me. No. Oh, no. It's all me, me, me. Just a little something, you know? Just to say, like, I appreciate you, Emma. Nothing. I just get the happy dance. You're ridiculous. Can you please take this seriously? I have 135,000 subscribers now. How many subs? 135. You know, maybe if you use it up a little bit, you'd have a few more. Oh, really? So I should take same. tips from you. I'll take it from the best. Let me help you out. Guys, Emma's gonna spill the tea, and in the process of doing so, she's gonna embarrass herself. So we might as well, you know, give her a sub, oh, wow. right? A little pity sub wow. before her channel. Alright, okay, I think I'm done. Ooh, I'm done. You didn't like that, did you? I've had enough. <laughs> you you can't stay. I'm sorry. Gosh, it's, 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 oh, it's not right for me. Means. Which part? All of it. No, I no, I don't want any. Take take your celery juice, please. Go, go. I can do this on my own. Okay, okay I'll leave you to it. It's fine. You can do this on your own. Absolutely. Okay, but guys, yeah. I'll be back. If she needs me. She needs me. Goodbye. Wow. Hi guys. Well, where were we? I think we should uh, we should start with the first assumption, which is we're just gonna dive right into the deep end. You are bisexual. Actually, no, I'm not. I identify as straight, but I do find men and women attractive. So I think, I think we'll leave it there. We'll move on to the next one. You'd be a terrible first date. Yes, I would be, because probably I'm gonna bring my girlfriends. I find like first dates always a little bit awkward. I'd much rather the first date to be like a group thing, you know? Because I never like to feel like I've wasted my time. 
<laughs> I don't want to be there like for two hours on a dinner date with someone like just like it's not going anywhere. I think I wouldn't even last two hours. I'd probably call in the troops like Arena, <laughs> come save me. Despite the treatments and surgeries, the inside is true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you for that. I'm glad that you feel that there is some truth inside, deep down. <laughs> you work long hours and really care about your content you make. No, I don't work hard on the content I make. I mean, like, I just like make it and just like throw it up there on YouTube. <laughs> no, I work really hard on the videos. They're a reflection of myself and so I want it to be the best possible. With each video, I want it to be better than the last one. I want to be as creative as possible, have original ideas, because why else would you subscribe to my channel? You find yourself good looking on a good day, yes. <laughs> but I have also my bad days where I just really don't like myself. We all have days like that, but you should love yourself and feel good in the skin you're in. You said you filmed in college because damn girl, your videos are fire. Oh, thank you. Well, I didn't actually study film. Instead, I actually first studied medicine at Birmingham University, and then I went on to study history at King's College, where I graduated. Straight and have a secret boyfriend. Ooh, 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 we're getting personal now, aren't we? I'm seeing someone, let's put it that way. You come from a very wealthy family. You come from a family that was like comfortable, but by no means were they like really rich. I had like a normal upbringing, I would say. There wasn't anything I wanted for that I didn't have. As soon as I was like 14, I really wanted to work. I was desperate to be independent. I got a job at my local cafe. I told them I was a year older than I really was, so I could get the job. And ever since I got that feeling of working and earning, I just loved it. Having moved to London, and obviously it's a really expensive city and I grew up in the countryside, there was very much like a feeling of like sink or swim, you know? It was like survival. When I was studying, I was also working, I was modeling, I had to like obviously pay my rent, pay all my bills, and like earning enough, but still spending enough time on my studies. So it was a really challenging time, but I think situations like that really shape who you are. Actually, one of the assumptions, or they actually asked a question, is where do you get your zest for life? I think it comes from the fact that I know what it was like when I was having those challenging times uh, when I didn't have as much as I do now. So to have come this far and work that hard to get to where I am now, I know that it's like not possible to go back. So I just gotta work my butt off. I'm always trying to do more and push myself and build and grow. When you have that, it gives you a sense of purpose. If it was less challenging and I had all the comforts I need, I don't think I would have as much drive or ambition uh, as I do now, I think I'd be a little bit lost as to what to do. The next assumption is you are very rich. Not really true. I would say that I have a comfortable lifestyle, but by no means am I rich. A career that I'm passionate about and that if I work hard enough, <laughs> it's able to provide me with a good standard of living. But I'm not in a position to be able to like slow down or take it easy. I have to work hard. You're actually incredibly intellectual. I wouldn't say that I'm incredibly intellectual. I was always willing to put in whatever I had to to get the top grades because I knew where I wanted to go. I would say I'm a moderate intellect. I'm not a neuroscientist, I'm not a, a brain surgeon or an astronaut. I'm simply a YouTuber. <laughs> You party very often. Who, me? Party? No. <laughs> okay, you guys know me a little bit too well. You wear in his clothes and shoes and say it's yours. <laughs> she lives down the road from me. So yes, I do go raid her wardrobe and wear her stuff. <laughs> and she wears my stuff too. You are really materialistic, doesn't have to be bad. I can see why you think that. You know, I talk a lot about fashion and beauty and luxury stuff on my channel, but is that all of me or is there more to me? I'd like to think there's more to me. <laughs> I definitely have a lot of interest other than that. I'm so fortunate to have the things I have, but because I didn't grow up with them, I am so appreciative of them. I was never spoilt. I work hard for them and I take nothing for granted. You were bullied, so you stopped caring about what anyone thought about you and worked. That's very true, actually. <laughs> I feel like the school I went to was very competitive between the girls. It was an all-girls school, so there was a lot of competition, especially when we were applied to universities and stuff, like who got in, who got interview, etc. And I think I just, at that time, I really just like buried myself in my work, trying to get the best grades possible. And so I could like block out the haters and any bullies. People that bully 
are insecure themselves. So you just gotta remind yourself of that it's not you, it's them. You love to connect with your followers, absolutely. I think YouTube is my favorite platform. It shows you that despite all the divisions, politics and race and religion, I feel like YouTube is such a unifying force bringing everyone together and no matter where you are in the world, you can find someone on there that you can relate to. I feel very fortunate to have this platform and be able to communicate with you guys. If you and Arena are secretly married, well, you know, it's a big secret, even to me, if we are. <laughs> because I don't have a ring on my finger. I'm waiting, Arena. Big diamond for me. Wondered, are your teeth natural or have you got them done and what doctor? My teeth are my own. I've had lingual braces. Um, they didn't work so well for me, so now I'm using Invisalign. And I have an incredible dentist. Her name's Dr. Vita, and I'll leave all her details in my description box. And you're a great kisser. I'd like to think so. So that is it for all your assumptions and judgments of me. Whew. Thank you guys for all of you who wrote in and I really enjoyed answering your assumptions. I hope that you got to know me a little bit better. I uh, definitely feel like I've shared more than I've done before. <laughs> but I love having this open chat with you guys. If you have any questions, you can always write them in the comments below and I'll answer them. I'd also love to hear from you guys what other videos you want to see next. I've got some challenge videos coming up. I've got some more vlogs and also, of course, some new fashion videos coming your way. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!